Hello, welcome to Mastering Java Lesson 6. What we're going to do here is learn about the enhanced for loop that's really tailor-made to help you search through arrays from beginning to end. Now we've already learned how to loop through arrays. What we essentially do is set up a variable, we start it off at zero, and then we increment that variable, and we're accessing the elements of the array by using the index. And that's perfectly fine, um, but that kind of process is used so frequently in programming when you create an array and you search through the array or scan through it for something uh, that they've actually created a loop in Java that does it much faster. So for instance, let's go ahead and create an array. We're going to call it, uh, let's call it an integer array. I'm going to call it my name, Jason. The brackets mean it's an array like this. And inside of this guy, we'll just put some numbers. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, or let's do like this, 10, 11, and we'll close it off like this. So now we have an array. Now again, typically if we wanted to search through this guy, and let's say we wanted to print the array out to the screen, we would create a, a variable, uh, set it off at zero, and then we would access JSON bracket variable starting at zero, and the loop would go through zero, one, two, three, four. Each time we go through the loop, we'd be putting an index in here so that we can access and print it out. And we've done that before uh, many, many times. Now the enhanced for loop is set to do this a lot easier. So instead of doing all of that stuff, keeping track of the index and all that stuff, inside of the for loop, just create an integer, and you can name this anything you want, but let's call it elements. Right now, we're not going to set it equal to zero or anything like that. We're just going to do that. We're going to put a colon here. And then after that, we're going to put the name of the array that we want to search through. This time, the array is called JSON. So to make it more readable, I'll put the colon between like this. Now, this is a for loop, so we need to open a curly brace and hit enter. And now this effectively, without doing anything with array indexing, is automatically going to search from the very first element of the array that we specify here all the way to the very last element of the array specified here. And every time we go through the loop, the current value of the array that we're in that we're investigating or that we're looking at will be stored in this variable that we've declared inside the loop called element. That's why we have an integer out here, because these values are going to be stored into this variable temporarily as we go. So we can do something like system.out.out print ln like that and then we can just say uh, element that's it now what's happening here is basically this loop is saying okay start from the first element in this array and then we go to the inside the loop and we print out that value so as we go through three is stored in the element variable and then we print that guy out then the loop goes again and then it increments to the next element which is stored again in this variable and printed out so on and so on and so on until we hit the end I don't have to tell Java what to do, what the end of the loop is, or anything like that. When I hit run, I can see the contents of this guy, um, you know, basically uh, uh, spilled out here for me. So I can uh, do something simple like print this guy out to the screen, or maybe I want to print out the squares of these guys. So maybe I want to do element times element. The actual value that we have in here is stored temporarily in this variable called element. So I can use this in any mathematical calculation that I want. So in this case, instead of printing the value of the array, I'll be printing the squares. So I get 9 and 16 because 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. And you can see how it's going down the line. So it's just a very easy way to loop through an array from start to finish. And every time you loop, you're examining each element along the way, putting it in this temporary variable. I can use this in calculations. I can use it in if statements. I can use it in anything I want. Basically, what happens a lot of times when you when you use arrays is you, you almost always want to scan through them for some information. Maybe I have a database and I want to search for a last name or I want to search for a certain number. Well, that frequently happens a lot. So instead of dealing with the index and going from zero to whatever, that works fine. But this loop is set up because this is so common. Um, you're frequently just searching through an array uh, from start to finish. So that's what it's set up for. So make sure you understand this simple concept and go off to the example where you get a little extra practice yourself in writing a simple program to take advantage of the enhanced for loop in Java.